Welcome back here at Cardines Field here in Newport, Rhode Island. Nick Levin now joined by Newport Gulls manager Mike Coombs. Skip, how are you today? Good, Nick. How are you? Doing pretty well. And the Newport Gulls coming off a couple of wins here after a couple of losses against the New Bedford Bay Sox. Newport uh, swept the two-game series on the road at Laconia that was surrounded by a rainout. Yeah, um, New Bedford's got a good team, and so does Laconia. Uh, we were able to piece some things together against Laconia. Um, up in New Bedford, we blew a five-run lead, and um, that's part of baseball. You don't like to see that happen, but, uh, um, you know, you win a few, you lose a few, and then you keep on trucking on and see what you can come up with in the next game. A backtrack to Friday night, the Newport Gulls against the New Bedford Bay Sox. It was a tough loss for Newport as uh, the Gulls gave up double-digit runs. Uh, it wasn't a, a pretty game for Newport either. No, it was pretty ugly. If you're thinking pretty, pretty ugly. That was an ugly ball game. That, those, those kind hurt. You don't ever like to get beat by that much, ever. That's how it goes. But the Newport Coles did respond and rebound on the road at Laconia the next night. They were down 7-2, to two, but uh, the Coles came back in the fourth inning, playing, uh, I believe, seven runs to take a 9-7 win, win in a game that, I guess the guards of baseball were looking over the Newport Coles' shoulder as the light tower went out, and the game was shortened after five innings. Yeah, the um, left bank, or the bank over the top of our dugout went out, and then um, they had to call down to the city and see if they could get it going. It was under the impression the umpires told me that they couldn't get it going, it was burnt out and game done, so they left. But then uh, their GM and head coach wanted to you know, see if we could get it in. Next thing you know, a couple of lights came on, then a couple more came on. The umpires are gone though, so it's a, it's a complete game because we played five innings. That game was already delayed by rain in the beginning, 48 minutes. Uh, of course, rain has been a story so far here in the NACBL. A lot of teams facing uh, trouble with rain outs, but the goals have only had two, both of them home games. Uh, they'll have to face the consequences of that when they face Laconia next week here for a doubleheader. Um, who pl faces Laconia? Oh, rather, uh, Mystic here for a doubleheader yeah, yeah, next yeah. week. M Mystic here for a doubleheader. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad you reminded me of that because I need to tell them when they're going to hit and all that good stuff. So what does that mean for the team going forward? Uh, of course, they'll have an off day Sunday. I believe the host family uh, annual cookout and barbecue is happening. But then it's going to be a long stretch. I think the goals have nine games in eight days. Right. Well, that's baseball, and that's what you like to do, get out there and play every day. This game's meant to be played every day. So that's how they get better, and they play every day. Now, recapping, of course, Newport and Vermont were rained out here on Monday, but the goals went back on the road, back to Laconia. They'll be going back there again this Saturday, too, so three trips to Laconia in the, in the span of seven days. But a uh, long trip up to Laconia last night. The goal is coming off with the win. Uh, there were nine home runs hit in the game, five by the Gulls. It's like our second home field. I mean, I don't, the scheduling, they, uh, they put us four, four times at Laconia in the month of June. We don't go to Laconia and... Unless, unless both of us make the playoffs. Yeah, so it's uh, it's been a little rough getting up there and doing that and then get up the next morning and go to camp and do that. So it is what it is. I didn't have any power over uh, the scheduling, so uh, we just deal with it. We're starting to see some of the offensive power from the uh, goals, particularly in the middle of the order. Uh, Steve Anderson's one of the league leaders in batting average. Yell Rosen has also been hitting the ball very well. Yeah, they're seeing it very well. They're They're swinging at strikes and uh, laying off the junk and just making, just having head on wrecks. I mean, a head on wreck is just squaring that ball up and driving it as hard as you can. And both these boys are big and strong and they're, you're right, they're right in the middle of the lineup. That's like that, uh, you can't pitch around them. You gotta pitch to one or the other. Jeff That's Miller. they said, pitch to one or the other. If you don't pitch to one, you get the other. <laughs> it's great. And, uh, Jeff Millillo was back in the lineup t last night after uh, being sidelined for about two weeks with an injury, and he was uh, stellar going three for four at the plate. Awesome. He uh, He's a great kid. and came to me and said, am I in there? And I go, oh, heck yes, you're in there. So uh, we got him a good full six innings, and then I, you know, the game got away. You were one in 12 whatever and so I decided to put Matt in there give him another at bat and let him catch a little bit. So. Of course Matt Pare joined the team last week. The goals will be losing one of their catchers over the weekend. Alex DeLeon only has a couple games left with the team. 
Yeah, we're going to miss Alex. Alex, uh, with these 11 games, has put us in this position. He has uh, contributed very, very much to the uh, success, our early success here in Newport. And he's going to be missed. Um, you know, I went to him, I asked him, I said, what games you want to play? I, we got four, you got four more, want to play at least two of the four because I want to get the other guys at bats too, but I want to be fair to him because he put us in this position with his, his bat and uh, how he played. So uh, he's going to play tonight and probably play Saturday night. We'll give him a couple nights in between off and then he'll be headed back to Kansas. So we talked about the future, we talked about the past, now talking about the present. Newport hosting Mystic tonight for the first time of four times at Cardines Field this season. Adam Ravenel will make his first start of the season. What can you tell us about him? Adam is a competitor, strong kid. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Of course, uh, Vanderbilt coach Tim Corbin, he, uh, he recruits some, I, I mean, I've had a lot of his kids in the past and nothing but top shelf kids that are, are very uh, are students of the game. Not only that, they have great talent and uh, compete at a very high level. So uh, Adam's one of those. He's a young man coming up right now. Uh, he's going to get his uh, chance tonight to see what he can do, and um, hopefully he can uh, locate, locate, and locate. We've seen him at, uh, coaching the first base a few times so far this season. Yeah, he's a good kid. We don't have a first base coach out there, so uh, he jumped out there and volunteered to do that. And you got to like that about a kid when they do something like that. That speaks volumes of him and it speaks volumes of the program he's from. And finally, Coach, the Newport Gulls defense has been fairly sharp to start the season. Right now, the Newport Gulls continuing to lead the NECBL. Despite playing the fewest number of games, they lead the NECBL in double plays turn with 18 already in the season. So the infield has been sharp when they need the twin killing. Well, as you know, that that's what they say the pitcher's best friend is, a double play ball. So uh, they've just been turning it. I'm, I'm uh, able to uh, put quality guys out there each day to, you know, play in the infield and pick them. That's what we like to do, pick them. Pick them and throw them out. Newport Coles Manager Mike Coombs, thanks for joining us today. Good luck tonight against Mystic and on the road tomorrow at Holyoke. Thanks, I'll see you in Holyoke. I'll see you tomorrow, Skip. That's our free game visit with Newport Coles Manager Mike Coombs. Newport Gulls baseball is next on the NECBL Broadcast Network.